What's up guys and welcome to RaceX. Today I'll be speaking about the new BMW 2 Series Coupe. Already, the new model has received negative feedback regarding the rear design, but I'm going to tell you the key points that you need to know in case you're going to wait for this car. Be sure to subscribe, leave a like and comment to support my channel. I really appreciate it as it keeps me going and follow me on Instagram. So, the new 2 Series Coupe for 2021 will go on sale in the UK in early 2022 and it will start from £34,980. The two-door coupe is built on the same platform as the 3 Series and 4 Series, so you can get it in rear-wheel drive and four-wheel drive. Compared to its predecessor, this car is slightly longer, wider and lower, while its weight has been slightly trimmed as it uses more aluminium in its construction. Now in my opinion, I think the front grille is okay looking and I think people will get used to it even if they don't like it now. It's also not that different from the previous model except that grille now opens and closes automatically to cool down the engine or to be more aerodynamically efficient. However the back end is just horrible to look at and particularly because the previous gen was so good. I mean it kind of reminds me of the new Honda Civic or a Hyundai. Without the badge, I don't think many people would guess that this would be a BMW. Nonetheless, we cannot just dismiss the whole car based on its look. I mean the first A-Class and Audi A2 were both eyesores, yet people still bought them. One ugly motherfucker. The M Sport trim adds a sporty looking front apron, dark gloss exterior trim and dark metallic finishes on the lower section of the skirts and rear diffuser. While 18 inch wheels will be standard, the M240i version will look sportier still, obviously with more aggressive bodywork, a rear lip spoiler, 19 inch wheels and a dual exit exhaust. On the inside, M Sport cars come with Alcantara and Sensatec, apologies for my pronunciation, which are man-made leather upholstery, which is black as standard but is available in three further colours. The dashboard shares much with the 4 Series, with buyers getting the same 12.3 inch central screen and 10.25 inch digital instrument panel, which has been loaded with specific M Sport graphics. Elsewhere in the cabin, there's M-branded tread plates, pedals and floor mats, as well as an M-specific anthracite headliner. One nice feature is that you can download the BMW app on your phone and use functions like vehicle locating, remote locking and unlocking. There is also a parking assistance plus pack which gives you a view of the car's vicinity so you know if someone is messing around with the car. The 2 Series Coupe range kicks off with the petrol powered 220i. It uses a turbocharged 2 litre 4 cylinder in it which produces 181 brake horsepower and achieves 0 to 62 mph in 7.5 seconds with a top speed of 146 mph. Diesel power remains in the lineup with the 220D model. It's priced from £36,900 and gets 187 brake, slightly more torque than the petrol and has a 2 litre 4 cylinder turbo engine. The extra torque cuts the car's 0 to 62 mph time to 6.9 seconds. With the absence of an M2 version for now, the range topping model from its launch is the M240i xDrive. Costing around £45,795, it's powered by the same turbocharged 3 litre straight 6 petrol engine found in the BMW M440i, which has an identical output of 369 brake and like its larger sibling, it will send drive to all four wheels through BMW's xDrive all-wheel system and an 8-speed automatic gearbox. BMW says the powertrain has enough power to shove the coupe from 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.3 seconds before it runs into an electronic buffer at 155 miles per hour. Surprisingly, its fuel economy is standing at a claimed 34.9 mpg, which isn't too bad for a car with this much power on it. Now, BMW have stressed that the M240i's drivetrain will be heavily rear biased. It also comes with an electronically locking M Sport differential on the rear axle, which the firm says will allow for easily controllable drift maneuvers. To cope with the extra power, the M240i gets a few more chassis tweaks, such as M Sport brakes, extra chassis bracing, and wider front and rear track. As an optional extra, you can get adaptive M suspension and electronically controlled dampers. Now, it is just a first look at the car, so next year we will be able to get proper reviews of the car. But from what I can gather so far, I think BMW have made a great car. We just aren't used to this new look but it happens every time new cars come out. I think the main selling point for this car is fun thanks to the power, lightweight, 
rear wheel drive and it's just generally built for a car enthusiast. So for now, thank you very much for watching. Let me know what you think and I shall see you in the next one. Peace out.